Welcome to the Catfish Kyle Fishing Show. I'm so glad you tuned in. Man, is it cold in middle Georgia, but we are fishing. Man, we're gonna have a good time today. If you like fishing, you'll like this show. Hey, especially if you like catfishing. Let's get busy. Let's go fishing. Well, y'all, I had a whole line broke over there. That don't happen very often. That had to be something big, but I'm looking over here. I got something bouncing on this limb. We're gonna see what it is. He knows we're here. He knows we're here. Oh, I hate that guy. I got one broke off back here. That does not happen often. Set with cut bait. Creek is high. It is high. We're gonna see what we got here. Don't feel like a whole lot of weight. There we go. Got us a nice catfish. Oh, catfish here is missing a fin. Look at that. Ain't that something? Oh yeah. Yes sir, yes sir. We got something, y'all. We got something. <clears throat> He's pulling hard. Oh, whatever that is, that's big. That's on a piece of cup, baby, and it's gonna be hard to get in here. I'm gonna try my best. But whatever it is, I just want y'all to know that it's big. God, it's a big old blue catfish. It's a big old blue catfish. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a good one. We got a good one, y'all. Yes, sirree. Man. He got me all tangled up. He got me all tangled up. I like it, son. I like it. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Whoo! We got us another one, y'all. We got us another one. We got us another one. We got us another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it, son. I like it a lot. 32 degrees, don't bother me. Don't bother me a bit. We catching catfish, buddy. We catching catfish. We catching catfish. Whoo! Boy, it makes a difference when this creek's got water in it. When it's got water in it, man, it's got fish in it.
got something on this one, y'all. Oh, another catfish. Another good catfish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another good catfish, folks. I like it. I like it a lot. We got something, y'all. It's good, whatever it is. Ah. Oh, guess what we got us? A big, big, big old bow fin. He come off the hook too. Not as big as I thought he was. You can't hardly pick him up. There he is. All right, folks, I want to let you get a look at some of these fish that's a good 10 plus pounder right there beautiful fish let's let him go catch him when he's 20. some nice eater size catfish like that put him back Another nice eater size catfish. Missing a fin, see there? Missing a fin. Well, what happened to him? And I wanna show you something on this one. See how this fish is covered in spots? I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's spots all over this fish. That's parasites. They live right under that skin. They'll hatch out if you ever catch one like this. Now, some of you might think, oh, that's gross. But it actually doesn't hurt the meat at all. You can still eat that fish. Some of you may not be able to get over the psychological part of it, but you could still eat that fish. Nothing wrong with it at all. Once you cook it, um, everything in there will be killed. Might even give you a little more protein there. So if you catch one with spots on like that, little bumps, you can feel them on the skin. Uh, don't worry about it. It won't hurt you. I just rebaited this limb line over here. I looked over here across the creek and I saw it running wild. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it let go. Huh, there was something on it that it let go. Oh well, we'll leave it be. I came back up on a number of these limb lines, cut that bow fin up, put him on there for bait. We'll see what happens. See if anything likes to eat bow fin. GoPro stop recording. So it was about 32 degrees when I got out here this morning. I don't know what it is now. Maybe a little warmer, not much warmer though. My hands are freezing. I came out here yesterday and I had two brim. That was the only bait I could get. I went and tried to catch some bluegill. I caught two. Uh, one of them I put on there live, nothing messed with it. Uh, the other one I cut up, used for cut bait. <clears throat> we caught four catfish, 
four blue catfish uh, out of eight line out of eight lines one of those lines was a live uh, uh, bluegill so out of the seven that were cut bait we caught four fish that tells you they hitting cut bait right now if i had bait i could tear the catfish up right now um, i'm using old bait i cut that brim up that was uh that was live that's what i've been using this morning i cut that bow fin up and reset the lines see if i can get anything on on them i caught that bow fin on a piece of cut bait uh, but the problem I have right now is no bait. It's harder to catch brim for bait uh, whenever the whenever it's so cold like this. Uh, but we're doing our best. But I tell you what, buddy, if you had a whole bunch of bait, you could come in here right now. You could tear up, tear up, especially the blue catfish. We're going to keep fishing this morning. We're already out here. Uh, we're going to uh, keep using this cut bait, bow fin, and a little bit of that uh, brim I had from uh, yesterday. Uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I had to get out of the water, folks. It is some kind of cold. Not the best day fishing. Could have been a lot better if I'd had some better bait. Didn't catch anything on that cut up bow fin. Now, the bluegill didn't do bad though. Again, hard for me to get bait, uh, but we made do with what we had. We called um, five fish off of two so we didn't do too bad appreciate you for tuning in hope you'll subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet hit that like leave a comment i'll be seeing you next time